Hello, Algebra 2. Hope you're having a good morning. We are going to do, I'm going to do two lessons today, Lesson 10 and Lesson 11. So Lesson 10, that's a little, that's not very straight, my title, I apologize, is on solving and graphing inequalities. Um, and so let's go over inequalities. There's um, four types, right? Less than or less than and equal to, right? This is less than. I remember it because the less than symbol looks like an L. Okay? That looks like an L, so less than. Less than or equal to has the straight line underneath, so this is less than or equal to. And let's go over our symbols. When I graph, if it's a less than and does not have the equal to, I'm going to use an open circle on my graph. If it does have the equal to, then when I graph this, this should be a solid circle. Okay, a little bit of review there. Then there is the greater than symbol. Remember, um, if it doesn't have the equal to, then I'm going to use an open circle to graph it. And then there's greater than or equal to. And if it has that equal to, then when I graph it on the number line, I'm going to use a solid circle. Now, when we graph, we're simply going to use the number line. We're not using an X and Y um, Cartesian format. It's just simply a number line. So I'm going to do a couple examples with you, and then we'll do lesson practice. And again, you can pause the video if you want to try anything like that. So for the following problems, we're going to solve and graph. So here we go. Number one, I have negative 2 parentheses 4 plus b is less than or equal to 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is distribute. So that's negative 8 minus 2b is less than or equal to 4. Then I'm going to add the 8 to both sides. So I have negative 2b is less than or equal to 12. Okay, now I'm going to, when I divide, so when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to flip the symbol. Well, I should put the inequality symbol. So for example, I'm going to divide by negative 2, but when I do that, that less than or equal to now becomes a greater than or equal to, and I get negative 6. So notice that this symbol got flipped over. Okay, now I'm going to graph. So my, my answer is b is greater than or equal to negative 6. So I'm going to draw a number line. It doesn't really matter where you put the numbers. I'm going to put negative 6 here. So this I'm going to do, this would be negative, I'm going to go by 2s. This would be negative 8 and negative 10. Now because it's equal to, I should have a closed circle on negative 6. And then I'm going to point to the side that has numbers greater than negative 6. Well, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Those are greater than negative 6, so I'm going to draw a nice dark line pointing in that direction. So my answer is b is greater than negative 6 and the graph. Okay. Next one. So 1 half x minus 5 is less than 2. Now if you want to pause it, solve it, Graph it and then and then push play and check my work. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add five. So one half x is less than seven. And to get rid of one half, I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So I get x is a less than fourteen, right? Seven over one. Seven times two is fourteen. 14 over 1 is just 14. So x is less than 14. I'm going to graph that, right? 
I like to put whatever number they gave me in the middle. So to the right would be numbers greater. So right, this would be 15, 16, 13, 12, doesn't matter. Now, because there's no equal to, my symbol is open. And I'm gonna draw a line pointing in the direction of x is less than 14. So x is all the values that are less than, so that would be numbers pointing to the left. Less than, left, less than, left, okay? All right, now there's some special circumstances I wanna go over with you so that if you see them in the future, you'll know what to do. So here's the next one we're gonna solve for, negative two, parentheses, x plus three is less than negative 2x plus 1. Okay. First thing I'm going to do here is distribute. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 is less than negative 2x plus 1. Now, I like to do everything in one swoop step. So if I add 6 over here, he's gone. Right, this right here is going to become 0. And so then I'm going to add 2x so that this guy's gone. And now I only have one thing on each side. So on the right, I have 7, 1 plus 6. And whoa, on the left, this zeroes out as well. So notice, I don't have any variables left. So is this inequality true is 0 less than 7 yes 0 less than 7 is true but because there are no variables left then I know that this is true for all x values so I would say there's infinite solutions many solutions or that because this is true, this is true for all x values. So this would be like infinitely many solutions. However you want to write it, or you could write the domain as all real numbers. But this doesn't, I wouldn't be able to graph this. This is true for all, all x values. Okay. Next one. So number four, four y is less than three plus four times y minus one. First thing, we're gonna deal with those parentheses by distributing. So four y is less than three plus four y minus four. And I got that because four times y is four y. Four times negative one is negative four. Now, I'm going to combine. You don't need to move anything here. I'm just going to simply combine like terms. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. I'm going to keep that less than symbol. I'm going to subtract this 4y so it can be grouped with the other. And so on this side, I just have 0 because 4y minus 4y is 0. Now, is this statement true? Is 0? Is 0? less than negative one? No. And because this is not true, there is no solution. And that is the answer for number four. So, I am now gonna do two more that have to do with compound solutions, meaning there is more than one solution. So now I'm going to do, this is more complex. So these are compound inequalities. And all that means is I'm going to have more than one set of answers. So we're still going to um, solve and graph. So here we go. Here's number five. Here's the compound inequality, negative two is less than or equal to 4x minus 10, which is less than or equal to 6. Now, I think by looking at it, you can tell it's a compound inequality. There's more than one. 
okay? So compound inequalities just simply means there's more than one, and we're going to have maybe more than one set of solutions. So how to solve this? I need to get x by itself, okay? So I'm going to add 10, but when I do, that means I have to add it to both sides. Okay, I have to add it to the left and I have to add it to the right. So the left becomes 8 is less than or equal to 4x, which is less than or equal to 16. Agreed? This 10 comes out to be 0, 10 minus 10. But this gets, gives you the 16, 10 minus 2 gives you the 8. Now I'm going to have to divide everything by 4. Okay? And when I do that, 8 divided by 4 is 2, which is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. Notice I didn't change the signs. Okay? So that is my answer. I did solve it. Now we're going to graph it. So on a number line, I'm going to put this here. Let's say I put negative 2, 0, 2, well, here. I'm going to spread these out a little bit versus the others. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, I can look at this statement, and this is telling me that x has to be in between 2 and 4. Okay? x is greater than 2. If you read it, read it starting in the middle. x is greater than 2, and x is less than 4. So um, both of these, I'm going to have a closed circle on both, and x is in the middle, so I know that x equals values in between 2 and 4. So that would be, i sorry, I have it, i sorry, that's not even a complete sentence. I am sorry. It should be like that. Next one, another compound inequality. So for this problem, it says 3, oh, I keep having pins that are dying on me. 3n is greater than 24, or 4 plus 2n is less than 12. So again, this is a compound inequality because I have more than one inequality. So let's solve both. On this one, I would divide by 3, and over here, I'm going to subtract 4. So on the left, I have n is greater than 8. Or uh, on this side, I, I still have 2n. 12 minus 4 is 8 divided by 2. n is less than 4. So my solution, I should have done that in a different color like I've been doing, Michelle. And so here is my answer. n is either greater than 8 or n is less than 4. So I'm going to graph that on the right. And we obviously need to leave room for the 4 and the 8. So like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, <laughs> 9. I almost laughed because it almost looked like it was in the wrong order. So notice I leave numbers on either side. Now, when I graph this, neither of these have the equal to. So I have an open circle at 8, an open circle at 4. This says n is greater than 8, so numbers greater than 8 are to the right. n is less than 4, so numbers less than are to the left. Less than to the left. And so that would be the answer. All right, so let's jump into lesson practice. Now I'm going to grab a new pen really quick since mine is dead. Sayonara, out. All right, so lesson practice. Is on page 65. And let's start with part A. So part A asks us to solve and graph. 3y plus 2 is greater than 8. Again, you can pause this, try it yourself, and then come back. So I'm going to subtract 2 
3y is greater than 6, divide by 3, and y is greater than 2. I'm going to circle my answer, and then I'm going to graph it on the right, and that's not even straight. So let's say I put 2 here, so this would be 4, this would be 0, should be an open circle, and it's greater. Next one. So part B, solve two parentheses, 5 plus A, which is less than or equal to 5 minus A. I'm going to distribute. So 10 plus 2A is less than or equal to 5 minus A. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to subtract 5, and I'm going to subtract 2A. So 10 minus 5 is 5, which is less than or equal to. This is gone, gone. Negative 1A, negative makes negative 3A. Oh, looks like we're going to have a fraction, but that is okay. I'm going to divide by a negative number. So I'm going to flip this symbol around. So this is negative 5 thirds, but this now becomes greater than or equal to A. So notice these got flipped. So I'm going to move up here. So I know that A, I'm going to write this because I like the letter on the left. Notice the small point. So A is less than or equal to negative 5 thirds. And I'm going to leave it that way. And when I put it on the number line, I'm simply going to go by 1 third. So if this is 0, let's say this is 1 third, 2 thirds. So 1 third, negative 2 thirds negative one, negative four thirds, negative five thirds, this would be negative two, okay, and so on. I'm just going by one thirds. One third, two thirds, this would be one, right? Because three thirds is one. Anyways, I'm gonna have a closed circle less than to the left. All right, part C. Solve 4, parentheses x minus 1, is greater than 4x plus 3. 4x minus 4, right, I have to distribute, is greater than 4x plus 3. Now, just looking at that, I know this is probably going to be no solution because you can't have 4x minus 4 be greater than 4x plus 3 because you're adding on this side and you're taking away from this side. But if you want to keep solving, add 4. I'm going to subtract 4x. So on this side, I have 0 is greater than 7. False. No solution. And I would simply move on. So part D. says to solve 2w is less than negative 1 plus 2 parentheses w plus 3. So I'm going to distribute first. Okay, 2 times w, 2 times 3. Then I'm going to combine like terms. Sorry if I didn't write that earlier. So 2w is less than... 2w plus 5, I'm subtract 2w, and I get 0 is less than 5. Now, in this case, this is true. So you could write all real numbers, infinite solutions. Um, you could put true for all x values. Or you could write um, x is all real numbers. Either way, okay? E. E is a compound inequality. They wrote 8 is less than or equal to 5x plus 3, which is less than or equal to 23. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is subtract 3, but i got to do it from all three places. So that gives me 
5 is less than or equal to 5x, which is less than or equal to 20. Then I'm going to divide everything by 5. I'm going to move it up here. So I have 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. So on a number line, I need 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here's 0, that would be 2, 4, 6. I'd have a closed dot at 1 and 4. x is in between, so I'm going to shade in between. Last one is part f. Now, they told me um, it was a soccer ball kicked from a tree, right? So David kicked his soccer ball six feet from a tree. So here's my tree. He kicked a ball six feet away. Then it says Alana kicked her soccer ball ten feet away. Okay, so that's one possibility, and that's the first po possibility I envision. He kicked it one way, she kicked it the other. Or, what if they kicked it in the same direction? So one person kicked it six feet, and then one person came along and kicked it ten feet. So there are two possibilities here, okay? So, in this case, the balls would be 16 feet apart, and in this example, the balls are only four feet apart. So I would say x could be anything between four and 16. So I hope that makes sense. Notice I put x in between because it's in between four or 16 feet. And that is it for that lesson. And I have to get, unlock my screen in order to stop this video. But bye.